In this advanced presentation we're going to look at how to create multiple symbols so that we can treat those symbols with separate role settings or we may want to apply uh, separate session markers to a symbol. We may want to have a symbol where the session markers of say from midnight to 2300 and we want the same symbol to have session markers with regular trading hours attached to that too. So how do we do that? Okay, well there are two ways to approach that. So let's start with the uh, with the way, the first way. We go into role manager and we'll drag that in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to choose one symbol. Let's choose the old famous British pound to look at and in this example what we're going to do is create another identical British pound and what we do is we go and right click here now if these bottom two options are grayed over then you need to come into default settings and just make sure used deferred contracts is checked and then that will make them ungrade and then what we do is we just click on the symbol that we we want to reproduce and then we create a deferred symbol copy and notice now that we've got BP underscore D01 which means deferred. Now one use of this is to have either role series or a template which differs in the case of uh, British Pound D01 so we could have completely unique settings for the British Pound and we want to know, know what the differences are if this for instance was crude oil you might want to have the crude oil setting be set one of them set to the nearest future if you were looking for edges uh, in contracts that were further out you could set them uh, in reference here um, and deferring them out uh, two three and four contracts whatever it is that you need now in this context we have created two identical contracts so we're going to leave all this the same and what we're going to do is we're just going to run these contracts like so and wait for those to complete okay and once they're complete we'll close the role manager okay now we'll open the compression manager and take a look at those two streams there they are we just created them they're identical streams now if we want to set up different session times for each of those particular streams we click into set up session times let me drag that in and we can see here now that we've got two symbols BP D01 and BP and the first one is set to the regular trading hours but you might want to set the second one up to uh, anything you wish it to be so we might go from 0600 in the morning to I don't know uh, 1600 anything you would need that to be and then once we save we are good to go uh, we're going to create those streams and basically then they're going to act as completely independent symbols okay so that concludes the first method in which to create separate symbols now before we move into the second method let's just stay with the first method for a minute and I'm going to reopen the role manager okay now if you wish to get rid of a deferred copy then you simply go down and delete the deferred copy like so and it's gone if you try to do that with a normal symbol it won't work it will only delete deferred copies so you're nice and safe there okay now let me close BP because in the compression manager it's up to you to go in there and delete those deferred copies from the particular session time template that you are dealing with so there's BP and if we click on the D01 we go in there there's two choices to delete deferred symbol row so it will delete the one that you've um, selected or you can delete all deferred symbol rows and because we've only got one in there anyway we'll just delete deferred symbol row and that's then gone and then we save so you've seen how to create and delete deferred 
symbols which you can use to create any um, secondary symbol combination of your choice but it is up to you on the uh, the session times to go in and manually delete those out so just be aware of that okay okay now the second route is we need to go back into role manager again and drag that in okay now this time we don't need to play around with deferred copies we just want to create one instance of the British pound and that's it And when that one instance is closed and finished, we close the role manager and reopen the compression manager. And let me drag that in. Okay, now in this instance, we've only got one stream that we're working with. So what we're going to do is set up templates to match. So we go into set up session times. And again, we're only dealing with BP here, but if you can imagine, you could deal with as many instruments as you want. Now we've only got BP here in this example so we're going to call this one, we'll, we need to call this a setting and we'll call this the the RTH BP version, there you go and then we shall uh, uh, save that template and there we go and in our next template we're going to call this the uh, unusual BP so we'll make a name up for that, we'll go from 0600 uh, to say 1500 there we go just to and we'll call that um, let's see um, call this alt BP oops alt BP and we'll save that template okay and we'll check those templates have, have saved according to what we need there's alt BP we change that now to our RTH BP you should see when we apply it that the values changed and if you noticed it did there okay so we know that's now correct okay so what we need to do is set the BP of our choice so RTH BP is there if we go and create the stream it will create the BP according to the session times on RTH BP and if we change that to um, Alt BP, it will then create the streams with the session times that Alt BP has in it. Okay. Now the only problem with that is it's gonna the second time you do it here, it's gonna say it's gonna create the file right over the top of the original RTH BP there because the pa the output pathway is identical in each case. So what you can do is set up alternative output pathways to whatever means you need. So if you make that sticky by just putting the check mark in there, you could call this one the daily alt pathway. And then what we need to do is save the whole of this as a template. So you've just seen us save the setup session times template only, which only um, appertains to this section here. If you want the global template for the compression manager come down to the middle grid and right click and you'll see a very similar regime there. You could call it the same thing Alt BP so you don't get mixed up ALT BP and now what that's going to do is remember the settings the pathway and you might even want to change you know you could even sort of uh, change this to anything you want you might want CSV files and for them to be sticky for instance I do apologize I've lost the I've lost the um, the alt BP so there we go and when we're ready we save that template okay and then we create another template and this time the template might be called daily RTH and we want to have the same CSV extension but this time we want this to be our RTHBP and to save the global overall template go back to the middle anywhere in the middle grid just right click and then we might want to call this RTHBP and then we save that template and if we swap them between those templates just in the same way as we did in the session times we can move those about this we're on RTH at the minute and if we go to alt BP you'll notice when we apply it that there's changed we've got the change there and it's also listed at the top 
so we simply can come in and change templates and then create our streams and whatever data that we need is going to be diverted to the the correct output pathway now finally um, which is not part of this presentation uh, there is a way to automate your update so it will run each template in order so when it comes onto the compression manager you could choose it to the alt BP uh, template and run that off after your auto updates and then guide it through to the uh, regular trading hours BP and also run that off as well point to remember there is that is a highly advanced feature and you need to be and know what how to use batch files and also how to write the syntax for batch files to set that up in the auto updates API and that's all in the help files and part of another presentation okay thank you very much